Hello folks, today I'm going to share with you a age classification using the CNN network with multiple class focal loss. This project is guided by teacher Bui Hai Duc, and my team have four members, Thai Thanh Phong, Trần Chi Thanh, Phan Phi Long and Phan Minh Hùng. I will go step by step to make you more understand our projects. Okay? So, First of all, I will find the research on the internet and I found this research which is the LSNES Neural Network So I will go straight down into the model I will not talk deeply about the algorithm Okay. So this is the CNN architecture for age classifications which country cover convolution layer and three mass pooling and two fully connected layer you can see here you scroll down you will see all of the detail for that layer so we will focus on the input and the output the input for this is the image with the size of 227 227 and three is stand for RGB image Okay. and the output I will change into 21 okay. so the second step is the data reparation and reprocessing so the fir first thing you have to do is reparation for the data I will use the cascade graph phase so this is the original 5 is without cropping so after cropping this five you will got this one okay this is the cropping five and okay and then we were assessing for this five validation for 0 0.2 and resize all the image into 200 27, 227, and normalize into 0, 1 format and divide into 21 group with a range of 5 age. Okay, and after that, I will build the model through the, this. Okay. This is the model, it's based on the research. So after you run this one, you got the model with the input of the image size 227, 227, and 3 step for RGB image. Okay, and let's check the output for that. The output will be 21. Okay, as you can see here. And then I will compile the model with the epoch of 60. Okay, then. After three hours of training, I will got the results. Okay, result of the accuracy and loss. So, not that uh, the validation accuracy is the orange line and the blue line will be the training accuracies. So the the uh, validation accuracy is 95%. Okay, as you can see here, and the training accuracy is 90%. Okay, let's move to the loss. The loss of the validation it will be 0 0.25, and the training loss will be 0 0.4. Okay, and after the training, you will save the waste. Okay, and put it into the Python model. Here, okay. After I run this one, I will, you will got results for that. So this is the test image I use to for testing and uh, put the label on that. After run that code, we got the results here. 
So this one is age for the range of 26 to 13. Let's move to the next one. Okay, so age is 66 or 70. Okay, this is the age for 1 to 5. Okay, 1 to 5 and the age. Okay. Alright, so this is all about the protest. Thank you for watching.